The United States' Brian Kibler can trace his pro tour career back to that very first wintry weekend in New York when he competed in the junior division. He had to wait until Chicago of 1998 to play with the big boys, but by that point he had already won Grand Prix Toronto in 1997. In that event, he played a deck that uh, n nobody else was playing, right? I mean, his serrated Biscalian deck was, was truly innovative. His breakout event came in 2001 when he made the top eight of Pro Tour Chicago and earned the nickname Dragon Master. I, I, every time I think about Brian, I think about Rith, I think about that Pro Tour. He makes the top eight and Armadillo cloaks his dragon, one of the most famous uh, big creature decks ever to be played on the Pro Tour. And uh, I've certainly taken a page from that. It was his best performance up until the point he retired, a retirement that was impacted by the possibility of this very honor. That he was inspired by the Hall of Fame to become, ironically, the player that was not worthy of being in the Hall of Fame. Once he got back to the Pro Tour, he has played the best magic of his life, making the top eight of events at an historic pace. Gibbler has had the comeback that I always wanted to have. The way that he's been able to go right to the top of the game and just to reel off Pro Tour win, top eight, top eight, just awesome. Brian has really taken advantage of the fact that there's a split format because he's great at both limited and constructed, and I think that's really led to a lot of his uh, recent success. Perhaps no Pro Tour win was longer coming than his triumph at Pro Tour Austin. Brian is the smiling face of the Pro Tour and an enthusiastic ambassador for the game. But yeah, Brian just throws everything he's got at whatever he's into. I mean, at some point, it seems clearly in his mind, he said, I want to be on the Hall of Fame. I'm going to get back into this game. He has long been a writer and editor for strategy sites about the game of Magic. Pretty much everyone who, pl who played the Pro Tour Qualifier probably read an article from Brian Kibler at some point. And then he's very, uh, one of the very few of the writers who's done extremely well on the Pro Tour level. And is fully engaged with the Magic community through his weekly strategy column and about every form of social media imaginable. Brian Kibler is the most energetic Magic player ever born. He's a writer, and he's just a public face of the game. He's someone that players relate to. He's always very friendly and happy to talk with people. So, how does it feel? Uh, it's, I mean, it's amazing. It was, it was pretty hilarious seeing all the old pictures of me with my ridiculous facial expressions up on the screen and everyone laughing. But, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's great. It was great. I was able to, uh, to have my brother here. I started playing Magic with my brother like 17 years ago. He doesn't play anymore, but he was going through my deck, you know, during the ceremony. He's like, I don't know what any of these do, but this is awesome. So. What, what do you remember about your first Pro Tour? And it could be either your Juniors Division Pro <laughs> Tour or your first uh, Big Boys Pro Tour. The, I mean, the, 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 first, the first Pro Tour I played was the junior division of Pro Tour 1, and I mean, what was so amazing about that to me is just that, that that sort of thing existed for Magic at all. You know, I had been sort of, you know, the, 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 local, the local kid who won all like, the, the shop tournaments around, and I traveled down to, uh, to New York City uh, for one of the, the Grey Matter $1,000 tournaments and found out about the Pro Tour. I saw flyers around. And you know, going to that event and seeing you know these people who I had you know read about in the Duelist, you know, long before there was you know Magic the Gathering or anything like that. I mean, it was really cool just to, to, for that to exist, and it was the first time that did exist really. And to have been a part of it then and a part of it now is really awesome. So obviously, you don't play on the Pro Tour for as long as you played and have the career that you've had without. Uh the help of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. who, who are the people you would want to thank at this point? Uh, well, in terms of, of other players in the Pro Tour, uh, Ben Rubin has been a huge influence on me. Uh, we, we played together, tested together for years, you know, back when we were younger and more recently, you know, he was the person who, who convinced me to play the, the deck that I played in Honolulu, built the deck that I played in, in Austin. So, you know, I, I certainly owe a lot, uh, a lot to Ben. Um, I mean, there's a, a, just a huge group of players who you know, I play with all the time. Um, it's, it's really hard to, to sort of nail down anyone, anyone specific other than Ben, though. And then, uh, again, 15 years on the Pro Tour, 17 years on the Pro Tour, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, what's your, if you have to pick one memory. One memory. What, what is it? I think it's, it still has to be cloaking that Rith. <laughs> when I actually, uh, the, uh, against, against V, it was actually, uh, I think it was game three or something. And I, yeah, the game about, about to win the, 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 the match. And I'm like, uh, I, have, I have Rith in play. Like, oh, I'll add uh, one green, one colorless, and one white to my pool and wish you good luck. And just windmill slam down the cloak on the dragon, and it was, it was great. <laughs> You're good.